food and good nutrition. We all need it, but so do our plants. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you a really good way of making sure your plants benefit from a good feeding and how I do it. Cheers. G'day everybody and welcome to my Aussie gardening kitchen. If it's your first time here, my name's Darren, but please call me Daz. Our plants all benefit from a good feeding, whether it be roses, your fruit, or your veggies, they all need feeding. And normally we'd grab maybe a liquid fertilizer or a granular fertilizer, and we'd pop that around the roots of the trees or the plants, whatever they are, and that gives them the food that they need. But another way of feeding your plants is to foliar feed them. Now, if you're not sure what that is, you essentially just put a liquid feed into a spray bottle and you spray the leaves. It's as simple as that. But there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind if you're going to do it this way. So in this video, I'm just gonna go along and give some of my plants a feed and explain how I go about it and what the precautions are that you need to consider when doing so. Cheers. Okay, so I'm only gonna need a few things here today to do this. So what I've got here is a bucket with water in it already. And to save a bit of time, I've already put in some seaweed extract and fish emulsion, and I've mixed them two together. Just so I've got a combination of nutrients and food there for my plants. Now I've got a container here to obviously scoop the solution out and put into the bottle. And of course, I've got a bottle. This is a pressure sprayer. Now this is a one liter sprayer. Now for you guys that use different measurements overseas, one liter is appearing on the screen right now. And with a pressure sprayer, you just pump it like this after you've put the liquid inside and the pressure inside will then build up and you just use either a lock button here, which will lock and spray continuously, or you just pull this trigger button here and that will spray. As long as you hold the button down, it will spray. On the end here, you've got a nozzle that you can turn. It'll make it a thin jet or a wider spray. And then all you do is you unscrew it here, like so, and you just fill the bottle. Because it's got the fish emulsion, it does not smell good. Fortunately, the plants love it. These bottles actually have a fill level and I've gone too far. So I'm just going to pour it out a little bit. And the fill level on this bottle is indicated on the outside just here. Really important that you don't go above the fill level because you need the pressure to build up inside when you get that pump going. So it's just a matter of putting the lid back on. Like so, make sure it's firm, but don't over tighten it. Give it a pump. Like so. There we go. Then it's just a matter of pulling the trigger. Like so. Okay, so with foliar spraying, I just wanted to go through a whole bunch of things that we need to take into consideration if we go down the foliar spray route. The first thing is that foliar spray is not the answer to everything. And really, when it comes to feeding plants and their nutrition, feeding them at the root level is important and having a good healthy soil is key. So don't think of foliar spraying as the answer to everything. It's more just a, a bit of a boost and a bit of a top up. And if you need to get some important nutrients, say you're lacking in iron, it's a good way to get that into the leaves and the plant will absorb it through the leaves a little bit quicker. With foliar spraying, there are some plants out there that are resistant or it doesn't work as well. But as a whole in the home garden, you can pretty much do your veggies and your fruits and your flowering plants as well in the garden. And it should work for most of them, no real issues at all. But do take into consideration when you are using a liquid fertilizer, for instance, make sure you read the instructions and follow the instructions and use the proper quantities. That's really key. Okay, so we've got my chili plants here. I'm just gonna give this a bit of a pump to build up the pressure. And then it's quite simply just spraying the leaves. Now you want to spray the tops of the leaves because that's where they're going to absorb all those good nutrients and the food out of this liquid. So we'll just give it a spray. And I'm just going to adjust the nozzle. 
there we go i just adjusted it because it was way too wide so i've just reduced it in a little bit and it's a lot more of a narrow stream and that's all you do go over give it a spray now what i wanted to point out while spraying is that you need to factor in the time of day you wouldn't do this in the middle of the day when the sun's up really high because you don't want it to go burning the stuff that's on the leaves it's not a good thing you would not be doing this in the middle of the day i highly recommend that if you're going to do this do it in the late afternoon evening so the majority of the sun's gone and it's not going to burn things and that way it can settle on the plants and get soaked in and they should be good to go you could possibly do it in the morning if it's not going to be a really bright hot day but if it's going to be a sunny day it's a safe bet just to do it in the late afternoon give it a good spray get the food on there they can absorb that food into the leaves and they're good to go you don't want to do this just before it rains it's only going to wash everything off so just keep an eye on your weather because you want to make sure there's no rain and you want to make sure that there's no sun really bright sun on that day so as i said earlier the best tip is to spray it in the late afternoon on sunny days and you can't go wrong okay one more tip really good tip actually if you're going to use fish emulsion and do this method and spray all your plants in your living area or outdoor living area i should say that's fine but if you've got guests coming don't do it beforehand because i'm telling you right now this area smells like a fish market not a good thing when you have visitors i've seen some articles out there saying that foliar spraying can be up to 95 percent more effective in feeding a plant and look i haven't done the research and i'm not going to talk about numbers because i just don't have that sort of information on me so i can only say that i agree that foliar spraying is good for plants as long as you do it properly so go ahead and do it mix it up a little bit but always remember that feeding properly with the roots and good soil nutrition is the way to go so now it's just a matter of going around keeping the pressure up to this and just spraying all the foliage around the place it's quite easy okay another great tip is don't wear shorts in the middle of winter when out spraying things or doing youtube videos <laughs> it's really cold and it's not a good idea so yeah don't wear shorts so i'd just like to thank you again for being here and watching this video i really do appreciate it and i'll see you on the next one bye